Ray Lewis is the scariest player in the history of the NFL. But that got me wondering, who is the scariest player? Think are the scariest players. So in the spirit of Halloween, I asked Ray Lewis, who are the scariest players in the history of the league? Kenny, what is going on, King? <laughs> Did he just call me King? I love that, dude. You guys will now refer to me as King in the comments. I think of... If I had to come off the head, it'd be like Night Train Lane. And here's Night Train, one of the hardest hitting cornerbacks joining the Ravens. But he's only the first player of many we're adding to this team. Building the scariest roster of all time. In which we'll be taking into a game and then simming a season trying to make the playoffs. Where if I don't, I'm going to be buying a Ray Lewis jersey and wearing it in a future video. I already spent so much on the cameo. Please don't make me buy a jersey. Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, another defensive player. I knew he'd have an affinity for the defense. And here's our best impersonation of Ronnie Lott. It's six foot, 203 pounds, and a hit power rating of 98 overall. This team better force some fumbles. That's all I'm saying. Lawrence Taylor. That one doesn't surprise me. We knew Lawrence Taylor was going to be on this list. And I got to say, LT in a Ravens uniform. Now that would have been something to see. Reggie White. Reggie White. What was his nickname again? The Minister of Defense. Defense? What's the correct pronunciation? Seriously. And he was a Packer and an Eagle. So just for my ego here, we're going to pretend that we're adding only an Eagle and no Packers to this team. Sorry, Packer fans. That's four down. And this is insane for this defense already, but we still got a lot of ground to cover. And I'm very interested to see who he says was scary on the offense. Derek Brooks. Derek Brooks wasn't a name I was expecting to hear. I feel like he was more pass coverage. I was expecting T Suggs as an outside linebacker. Maybe we'll still get that. Oh, baby, he looks icy, dude. I'm doing my best to recreate these players, by the way. There's some roster files I'm using, but if not, I'm using this YouTube video. Oh. Man. You know, I didn't expect this to be this challenging, but I do appreciate the incredible amount of thought that he's clearly putting into this. Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, another DB. Safety. I mean, he can do it all. So pumped to have Rod Woodson joining Night Train Lane. Dude, this defense is crazy. Mm, it's so many. It's so many, but can you give me some offense, man? So I don't know how deep you're trying to go. Pretty deep, Ray. Pretty deep. Appreciate the love. But when you talk about from the offensive side... Here we go. Finally, some offense. I will go with Jim Brown. Jim Brown, a running back. That's what I love to see. I assume there's not going to be any current day players on this list. It's just a wacky guess. And we've secured our first offensive player. But there's still a lot to fill. I hope he's got a lot more names. I will go with Randy Moss. That wasn't a name I was expecting to hear. I thought this was going to be all hard hitters, but there is one really important question here. Did Randy Moss ever have an afro? Dude, I don't know how I forgot about this picture. It's iconic. Of course he had an afro. Boy, ow, that kind of hurt. I would probably go with Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, not Tom Brady? Is that a slight to the goat? Just kidding. I love the sheriff personally more than Tom Brady. And I'm sorry, Tom, but Peyton is just way funnier. <laughs> And if I'm being honest, the forehead here looks <laughs> still not big enough, although it is pretty close. I'll probably go with... Oh. This is a much harder question than I thought it would be. I thought he would just spew off these names like rapid fire. Emmett. Emmett Smith, another running back. Okay, uh, we got a little tag team with Jim Brown and Emmett Smith. The only problem is I have absolutely no idea who I'm going to start, but I guess we're just going to wing that. Eric Dickerson. A third running back and probably the scariest of all, Eric Dickerson. Okay. One of these guys might have to play wide receiver. I'm not even kidding. Oh, he's only a 97 overall on this roster file. Wow. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Heck yeah, Ray. Goodness, Bo Jackson. Oh, dude, you cannot do this to me with the fourth. <laughs> Brother! Now, Bo is like one of the greatest all-around athletes of all time. So if there's anyone that's got to be switched to wide receiver, I'm sorry. I know this feels criminal, but we're going to do it with Bo Jackson. But it makes sense because as a linebacker, like this is who he spent most of his time tackling and dealing with. So I get it. Uh, team whiz. Don't give me another running back, please. Uh, Jerry Rice for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The wide receiver go. -wee! I love that one, man. I love it. Couldn't tell I'm a huge Jerry Rice fan. Oof. Man, you can be going on for days. What offensive lineman terrified you, though? That's what I want to know. Like, when someone was running at you as a pulling guard, full speed, is there anyone that you were afraid of? I don't know if we're going to get that answer. Yeah, bro. Like, from there, you just got to work it. 
I don't know what that means, but uh, and make it work. But great question, man. Happy Halloween. Many blessings to you, kid. God bless you, man. So we're not getting any more players from Mr. Ray Lewis here. So we're going to have to fill out the rest of this team with players he's played with, players we think he'd be afraid of or would consider scary. Uh, starting on defense, there's two people I'm going to sign immediately. First one is, of course, himself. We don't even have Ray Lewis. He didn't mention himself. And the second one terrified every quarterback who ever played against him. It's Ed Reed, dude. Of course he needs to be on this team. Next up is a defensive tackle, the king of trash talk himself, wearing the eye black, like, all over his face. His Dude was terrifying. If you ask me, we're going to go with John Randall. And when it comes to John Randall, I feel like the most important part is the eye black and the fact that he was kind of a skinnier defensive tackle. He was super fast. So we got those parts absolutely right. For our second defensive tackle, we're going to go with Vita Vea because he looks kind of friendly and like a big teddy bear, but he plays like a ferocious monster. And I want that on Ray Lewis's scariest team. Now we still need a right end, a middle linebacker too, and a third cornerback. But first, I want to take on the offensive line. And if you watched our world's tallest team video, you might know what I'm going for here. Our offensive line is absolutely horrifying if you're a defender coming downhill, trying to make a tackle, starting with Trent Williams, Quentin Nelson, the pancake man himself, 335 pounds of Cooper Beebe, Zach Martin, and six foot ten, the tallest player in the NFL, Dan Skipper. Also gonna scoop up Darrell Revis, because if I'm a wide receiver and I'm lining up across from him, I'm terrified. I'm not getting the ball that game. I'm telling you boys, if you don't believe me, I don't know what else to say at this point, because Miles Garrett is, like, the scariest player in the current day NFL. That is just a fact, period, the end. And behind Ray Lewis, we need a member of the Legion of Boom. I think, no, I know he would say Bobby Wagner was a terrifying middle linebacker. The jokester himself. Maybe he doesn't have a scary sense of humor, but his play on the field was absolutely terrifying. Rob Gronkowski, I love this man. And last but not least, it's no introduction. We're going with Calvin Johnson. You can't get any better than this at wide receiver. Now you may think, Kenny, this team's a 99 overall. Of course, they're going to make the playoffs. But there's a problem. Because this is an all-legends roster, we're not the only team with 99 overall legends. But every single team here has some of their best players of all time, like Drew Brees, Roy Palamalu, and Adrian Peterson, 99 overall. So it's not like we're just walking through 75 overall teams. Plus, we'll be playing on all Madden for our first game. And the Chiefs are also very good. With these running backs, Emmett Smith, Jim Brown. I mean, we got to be able to run the ball, right? And our O-line's pretty good, too. There we go. There we go, Jim Brown. Nothing like a fullback dive to Emmett Smith with this offensive line. Am I right? Okay, who wants to get open? We got X over the middle. Yes, we do. And Emmett Smith gets something going here on the outside. Oh, no, Peyton can't scramble. Oh, that was stupid. Touchdown. Touchdown. Touchdown! Come on, Randy Moss! 99 speed, baby! They run the ball. I'm ready for it. We got Vita Vea up the middle. Nope, 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 nope! Oh, Travis Kelsey still burning us. Third and two. That's not what I love to see, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try to run the stretch. Look at Jim Brown. Truck him. Truck him. How? Let's get some blocking up front. I want to make them use their timeouts. There we go, Emmett Smith. They are threatening. 20 seconds left. Will Patrick Mahomes snap it? He does. I'm on Travis Kelsey. He's not open. Come on. Give me that. Fumble. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's open. No. Oh, I might just go up top. Come on, Peyton. Put it on the money. Come on, Peyton. That's Randy Moss again. Come on, Gronk. Get open over the middle. That's what I want. Okay, I didn't mean to lob that, but oh my lord. We just got crushed go ahead and run a little slant jim brown needs to get in the end zone for a second time already i'm liking the look of this team but i'll tell you right now boys if we get the first round by i will push the stakes to winning a super bowl also i'm gonna make a prediction that we're gonna force at least 15 fumbles almost one per game which would be insane well we recovered 10 fumbles and had 24 interceptions which is crazy but i don't know how many we forced and i don't know how to see that but to nobody's surprise we had the best defense in the nfl and we have the first round by so i'm a man of my word we're gonna sim through the super bowl and if i don't win the super bowl with this team i will still buy a ray lewis jersey come on baby fingers crossed fingers crossed we won by three points we beat the cowboys and the boogeyman won coach of the year if you guys enjoyed this video you're gonna like this video right here go ahead and click it subscribe